Yay, what's going on everybody? Oh my god, this feels weird. It feels extremely weird. Uh <laughs> Woo! Beer check, that's right, man. What's going on, guys? So hello, hello, hello. We've already got 168 in the room, so it's good to see everybody. So welcome to Farm Sim 19. Yes, this is Farm Sim 19, and you may say, well, well, dude, how how did you get this? Well, two years of hard work. And a special shout out there to Evolve Terminals to Carly. Oh, man, look at Andrew Chase coming here, man. $10 already on the back, Andrew. That's what I'm talking about, Andrew. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate that, man. Uh, what's up, guy, man? It's already, it's good to see everybody. Greg, Norm, but good to see you. Miles, uh, Quatavius, what's up, man? Lord Bacon, Miller, Inc. Bye-bye, Gray, but good to see you, man. Coffee's up in there. Hope you're doing well, man. John Xenix, what's going on? John Dale, good guys. How are you, man? Drummer dude. I know, man, it's uh, early October, man. That's where our first, um, uh, kind of our last live stream was. And uh, it is what it is. Uh, life has gotten really busy. So I drank some coffee this afternoon. And uh, and we're seeing uh, we're seeing how long we last out tonight. But, um, yeah, we're going to be doing this all weekend. So you guys be sure to come back in, come check in here. Uh, we're going to be doing some stuff. We've already got money, so we've got big stuff. As you can see here, we've got uh, the Cotton Harvesters. But Case is brand new Harvesters here with FS19. And we've also got some other stuff down that we're going to show you. Some new parts of the game or try to feature something new every single stream that we do. So, but I also have to tell you that we have a special guest with us. Uh, a lot along was I granted one. Uh, they were able to grant me two keys, so I was able to give it to a buddy of mine that's been done that has done a lot of hard work here uh, on the channel as well, and also that's a big farm sim nut himself and uh, is really good at it and uh, and really really likes uh, it really likes this game in itself. So uh, I'm excited to introduce Mr. Nick T. So Nick T, if you can hear me, say hey to everybody. Hey, what's going on? Yay, what's going on? Knee cap, Graybuck, it's already up. Well, it's not. It's it's quite a knee. It's half a knee, man. So, uh, draw scats, Nick T. So it's good, good to see uh, him here. So he's uh, been doing a lot with us. So we set up a little something here for you guys tonight. So I hope you enjoy it. I'm gonna try to move. I'm gonna try to move fast. Uh, so if if I try to get, if you got questions, especially throw them out there. We've had a couple of days here to just kind of mess around with the game. Really, we just really drove around. We actually were thinking today. I was like, oh my god, we're going to stream tonight. But what are we going to stream? It was like we have absolutely no idea kind of what we were going to do so we kind of threw some stuff together and was like hey let's do this because that's what kind of we wanted to look at first so i hope you guys enjoy that don't forget to like if you haven't go ahead and throw up a sub uh but it's good to see so many familiar faces in here walter good to see you blue type as well mr indie game and coffee miller time salute salute to you all so i hope you guys are doing well so uh nick i guess uh where you at you at the store i'm right behind you oh, oh okay <clears throat> no Oh, there you are. All right, so if you're wondering kind of what we're going to do, uh, we are going to go ahead and do some. We're going to do some lime because uh, that's a new uh, this a new one that's in. So liming, it's a little bit of fertilization, weeding, a lot of that. So Nick's going to do some cultivation. We'll show you a little bit of some of the new field textures. Nick's sporting some new uh, leather jackets and some new flannel, flannels. I about said flammables. Uh, some new flannels and uh, some uh, some nice blue jeans. So you're looking at He's got the case hat on. I have no idea what I'm looking at because I can't look in the mirror. Um, but it is what it is. So... Yeah, well, I just it is, realized man. the jumping animation is ridiculous. Yeah, it's actually the, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Look like you just fall off the top of the building. So, and especially a big shout out there to Mr. One King 1 2 or One King 12. Thank you, man. I appreciate your $2 super chat as well. And Andrew. So, appreciate it, guys. As always. So, anyway, let's go ahead. Uh, I guess I'll tab down to this store. We'll give you guys a sneak peek. I do have some things running. I've got my um, track hour is running. Um, so we'll try to do the best and I'll try not to make you guys sick tonight with it. Uh, so we got a couple of new things out here. So we've got the 8RT, which is the big, uh, it was John Deere. This is a new one in here. So we got the, uh, 8RT and also we've got the 8R series. This is one of the flagship John Deere's that came in this year as part of the new branding. So consoles, PC, everybody's going to get these. Uh, we of course yet don't have mods. So we've got some, uh, wheel weights on these and I think he's got the regular, uh, you got the regular thick tracks on there. So he's going to be doing some cultivating here with the horse cultivator. And I'm going to take uh, this one up and I'm going to take it up and we're going to fill it up with some lime. We did a little bit of small end feed work. And then we're going to run over and we're going to tag team there on the field number four and uh, and grab the cotton harvesters to get them up going. So should be pretty cool. I've got most of my stuff. If you're looking here on there, I've got the Satec side panel. It does work. Uh, track hour is working pretty good. I've got my steering uh, G29 here. Any of that stuff. So I also I have to throw out really quick. If you're looking maybe to get into servers or you and your buddy say, man, I really would like a server. Look down. Second link is Nitrado.net. This is a fantastic server stuff. We're not quite on it yet, uh, obviously, because FS19 will come out here uh, next Tuesday. But when it does go low, we'll have a server 
that we do a lot of our multiplayer and a lot of our, a lot of our live streams and stuff from as well so you guys will be able to kind of see that in action um you know as it comes to it but if you're looking for that if you click that link and then sign up for a server at any at any cost it doesn't have to be a certain amount of money it does a little bit goes back to the channel uh and it helps me out here so that's what we're doing advertising we are sponsored now from trotto.net so thanks to those guys thanks to carly over to Vol. thanks to dick t for jumping into a late night live stream at coffee 25.99 so happy to see the knee cam again man <laughs> that's funny man thank you there cough man i appreciate it very nice i like gamer dad what's up man how much does it cost uh do you know the cost is it 36 34.99 34.99 by the way that's a nice hat you have there yeah y'all like this so we'll do an unboxing uh we have already done the footage for it but you're looking at one of the collector edition uh, press kit farm simulator hats so uh, another shout out to carly <laughs> fix me up on that one all right so I i'm going to shut up and you guys i'm just going to enjoy the drive you enjoy the sounds sounds got a big upgrade so we're just going to drive a little bit and make sure um, I know exactly where I'm going. Just don't get caught on the railroad track as the train moves now. You don't want that thing to catch you, man, when it's coming around the turn. <laughs> You see, as you get through bumps and stuff, you see all the all of the seats, the pneumatic air springs, all of that air ride stuff is all you see it above now. Unfortunately, the camera doesn't move with it. Um, it, it would be kind of cool if it did, I think. But that's just me. I gotta turn it off here. So. Mm, make sure. Let's see. All right. So if you guys want to see stuff, if you want to see more outside or inside, you know, whatever it is, you guys, you know, put it up there. I'll try to, uh, I'll try to do my best to, to do as much and, and put as much in as we can. So make a left here. Thank you there, Devo 116. Appreciate it, buddy. Here's biogas, so the lime station is here. Do I need to go inside the fence, Nick? I can't remember. No, we're just go straight down the road. I have to leave. I don't know if the camera does, because that, well, that's, that's true. That's true, exotic. That's very possible. I'll just pull it beside this, right? Yep. Um, start. There you go. Hey, what's up, bud? Seth Mabry, good to see you, man. James Scott, good to see you there. Joe to 175, Carolina Trump, what's up, man? Uh, soil players take place, uh, yes, in certain fashion. Some of those do take place, of those, and some of them uh, can actually hook up the cultivators and do two in one, two in one stretch. What's up, Leo? How are you, man? Yeah, everything's good on my end. You have to excuse the. Uh, I'm going to the cough. I'm still uh, still getting over stuff. It's so funny when the birds fly out. <laughs> yeah. Is that Motan? Thank you, there. Appreciate it, man. Sorry, man. What's up, Joseph? How are you, man? Ah, unbearable. Yeah, man. I mean, if you like 17, here's the thing about it, man. If you like 17, you're going to like 19, man. There's a lot of additions. Dude, at night, it looks absolutely incredible. Um, we may speed it up one day this week. We may just do some dusk and some dawn stuff. It, it's, it's so pretty at night. Call the racing. What's up, man? Yeah, I remember you. Lane, what's up, man? Uh, we can show you. I can, Exotic, I can't show you the symbol. We got one of them in there. We can show you that. Someone asked about my side panel. This is the Satec side panel. So this is the one, uh, just the panel by itself. Came with the wheel and pedals, but it's got a bunch of buttons. It kind of, you know, it kind of resembles this right here uh, within reason. But it's got, a, I don't know, 27 buttons, and it's got a joystick that's uh, a four-way. So 
pretty good. Sun drop junkie. Thank you, man. Must be a southern boy there. All right, let's see. Get the map pulled up here. I haven't got my cam over half the map, so. Uh, we'll drive around here and see if we can. Uh... You want to try to, Connor? I'm going to try to stream as much this weekend leading up to. So, stuff. So, so here's the thing. If you guys want to see more, if you want to see stuff like someone that said, hey, I would love to see the semis. You want to see some of this. You want to see, hey, I'd love to see a rundown of the new tractors. Whatever. Leave a comment or leave me a note in here. Make sure that I see it. Uh, thank you there, Josh Gunn. Appreciate it, buddy. Uh, and let me know. And that way I can uh, I'm try to plan some content out here as things roll around. If that makes you guys, uh, hey, I'll, you know, I might, I might buy it if I saw this or if I saw that. Let me know. I'm trying to put out the content you guys want to see. Yeah, we can we can certainly plan to do that, Bob. We kind of just hit the spots here with a couple of the new vehicles here with uh, with the 8R, the 8RT. Uh, plus, we had uh, we got the cotton harvester. If you're looking to see the cotton harvesters, you want to see those things. Uh, we are going to tag team uh, field number four here on Ravenport, and uh, you guys will get to see that one as well. So, I am going to go ahead. Uh, are you coming this way, or are you uh, going the other way? Yeah, I'm going back and forth in laps. All right. We'll wait till you, uh, tell you, I'll tell you what, I'm going to do this. Let's go ahead and shut this off. Yeah, drummer, dude, we'll definitely do it. We'll definitely go through it, man. Uh, now, you'll see in your bottom right there, I tried to place the, um, I tried to place the cams here in inconspicuous places. So, bottom left, still the map. Your top right, still your weather, still time, still money. Although, my, you know, panel side is taking that up. Um, but there, you see bottom left has actually got all your field info. So, it now tells you. Um, who it's owned by, especially if you're in multiplayer. And so I'm going to just, just kind of roll along here with Nick as he's uh, cultivating. See the plants we're laying down? Even got the cultivator sound. The dirt on the tires, man. Yeah, that's a nice dirt. Very well. There's only one skits here, Ian. Um, we, we definitely, man, we, we, we can definitely hop through some of that. Yeah, my hair. Dust effects, particle effects are really good. And as you walk through the field, see how we actually lay the, uh, actually lay some of this stuff down. It's pretty cool. I mean, it's uh, it's little things, but it's little additions that that do I think create a, a halfway realistic gameplay experience. I, I think that's what we're all wanting. Hey, you like that favorite tractor? Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, we've been using the custom Modern's uh, 8RT or 9RT. Uh, we've been using that one on our. Uh, our FS17 stuff that we've been kind of messing around with. So most of the field textures are uh, are similar. Um, well, what are we chewing up right now? What is uh, I think this is barley. Yeah, what, by second or third stage? Yeah. You can see, I think it's got a, a good bit more clarity to it. We are running full blast, if anybody's asking um, whether or not we're running uh, full blast on the graphics or whatnot, but we are. <laughs> Hey, Gray Big asked you to the John Deere catch fire. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Only the combines. Do what? Only the combines. <laughs> Only the combines. Wow. All right, so let's uh, let's do a little lemon. See if I can remember which ones. Okay, there it is. See what our Particle spread is effects here. on that are so wow. good. Wow, yeah. I just figured out what my, uh, figuring out what the spread on this thing's going to be. It would be nice, though. Well, we got, I'm not going to lie to you. It would be nice to have some GPS mods about now. Just to be able to at least keep your line. I'm a little surprised I'm not going all over the place, actually. Yeah, well, we were kind of missing it halfway here. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Uh, we we kind of missed a little bit, but it's all right. So you've also okay. So three things that we needed as mods that came from Giants about the very first of the 17 command. I mean, you guys remember uh, crop destruction, ground response, all of that kind of stuff. So if you're looking at the tractor now, uh, the tractor's definitely got way more. You can see the character is actually moving up and down. The seats moving up and down. The armrests or all the controls are moving up and down. Um, so it's a completely independent cam suspension from the actual tractor. So you've got ground response, crop destruction, and all of that tire dirt, tire dirt mods and stuff is all included in that team. So it's, you know, like I said, it's little things, but they do create a, uh, a more immersive experience. So. 
cool stuff. Hey, what's up there, Shane? Good to see you, man. And also the RPM mod, uh, like the work RPM, almost the same identical thing. So once you once you crank in the tool set, you definitely hear everything really, really, really crank up. So I'll do it again here. <laughs> yeah, maybe Walter. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I, I probably would get sick myself. What's up, Landon? Uh, no, not really. To be quite honest with you, that's really. Uh, it's kind of nice that we actually get a, um, you know, an actual texture on field rather than, you know, having the old. Uh, is having the old same junk where it's just a, a darker texture on the on the field. At least at least we've got a few other things in there, so that's kind of nice. <laughs> no, Zach. <laughs> um. So basically, so Nick, the way we're reading it on the liming, it's basically like a fertilization, correct? You only have to do the liming once every three harvest. Yeah. And that's that's not including plowing, right? Yeah. So, so some of the crops have to be plowed after every cutting, yep. and some of them only have to be done every three times. There you go. You also have to weed. There's herbicide for the sprayers now instead of yep. pesticides, actually. I mean, right, I was about to say, yeah, they got pesticides. Herbicide and pesticide. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so there's a lot of different additions. Um, so. You know, crop yield and, and all the other things that they have, it's not just, you know, simple put three scraps of fertilizer then plow every three. So there's there's definitely a lot of different things. The help menu on uh, FS19, what it was uh, with 17, is completely like, it, I was just started scrolling through it. I was like, oh, my God, there's so much in this. There's a lot more than what you think. If you really want to go in and, like, have a realistic experience with it, well, yeah, you can do that. They've added a lot of things in there, plus some graphics improvement and all that other good jazz. All right there, Connor. How good, man? couple people would like to see my tractor so I'll switch you. you okay know. yeah yeah that's fine. No, it's, bye bye no it's not snowing here man. Light's got a big upgrade. Beacon's got a big upgrade. Hey, what's up, PDT? How are you? John, what's up, man? Uh, Skyboxes looks good. Um, it actually has clouds. So it's not all uh, a picture anymore. It's a lot more dynamic, which is a good thing. There you go, Blue. So Blue's got your answer for that one. You guys wondering about that? Yeah, I, I saw the rumor, Walter. I mean, I, I who knows, man. I mean, it, it, I, I couldn't see them. I mean, they've got the six series, the seven series. They've got the, the eight series, two different eight series plus two different combines. I don't know. I mean, they could they they could add some more stuff in there, but I mean, I don't know, man. They, they've already added uh, actually a lot of John Deere's. Probably the cotton harvester or some implements. Yeah. Well, now that's true. I didn't think about an implement. Well, they're yeah, good. Bye-bye. Thanks for asking me. Uh, Roy, so Farm Sim's going to be uh, $34.99. And there's a pre-order. You know, if you if you, if you pre-order, you get a little something extra. If you get that little ATV thing. Uh oh One button. This tractor really wobbles around. You can feel the terrain a lot more. I was about to say the same thing because this one I've already felt it like kind of slide off some, some areas. 
<clears throat> it's all right. It's a lot more sensitive. I mean, we and Nick talking yesterday. It's everything feels a lot tighter. It's not. Uh, the steering feels a little bit more lax, so you can control how fast the steering returns back, so it doesn't, it's not so jumpy. <laughs> yeah, we, we, we laughed at the horses and the dogs, Walter. Yeah, we did that yesterday, man. Uh, it, it's possible. It's possible they're low lives. Uh, who knows, man? I... They did a pretty good job keeping the John Deere stuff secret, man. Nobody knew about that one. <clears throat> what's up, Austin? How are you, Adam? What's going on, man? Yeah, Dirt the Tractor looks good, man. And it's not necessarily just, uh, you know, I mean, you can actually see it on the wheels and the tracks more so than it, you know, being the dirt texture all over the, uh, all over the cab and stuff. Oh, wow, I'm already empty. Are you really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, now, the, dude, the John Deere uh, combines look really good, too, man. Yeah, I can do that. I just kind of actually want to ask that. Uh, da, 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 da. Where is that? Settings. Yeah, vehicle volume. I'll tell you what. I'll just turn the volume down a couple ticks. All right, let's try that. Let me know what you what you got there. It should be a lot better. Hey, what's up, Dylan? Yeah, man, the dude, Sergeant. Doug Sergeant, what's up, man? I do like it. Uh, bye bye. What fields we own? We we own a few in here. We've got uh, 12, 13, 14. I think was one uh, that we bought in four at the top, and that's where most of our cotton is. What's up, Greg? How are you, man? You know what? That they well, they could. I mean, mod wise, I'm I'm sure they will. They didn't build them in default to the game. I'll put it that way. There, still. Hey, happy birthday. It's always somebody's birthday. Can you ever get that feeling there, Nick? Yeah. Well, it's always somebody's birthday. Right after they buried their dog. Yeah. Like a sad country <laughs> song. <laughs> yeah, Marty, it's uh, so I'm, it's the G29 base, but I have a wheel mod. So I have an OMP, uh, drift, uh, like a drift wheel. Uh-oh. Pushing them sunflowers over. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> oh, happy birthday there, coffee. That one sounds a little suspicious to me. <laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs> uh, is there different transmissions? No, Kate. So you're wanting to know basically are we, do we have manual gears? Do we have power shifts? Or got, no. Everything's, I will say this. Um, I, I feel like even in an automatic sense, it's better than it was before. Thank you there, awesome folk. Appreciate you subbing, man. Um, it's it's better than it was before. Uh, I don't I don't feel that it was. Um, like I said, things are a lot less jumpy, so it feels like you get the RPMs built up and then the tractor actually goes. Um, I, you know. But I mean, obviously, GPS mod, especially if you're on the PC end of things. Things like GPS mod, things like um, any of these other ones that we kind of grown to use, whether it's uh, course play, whether it's uh, the gear shift mod, I mean, all that stuff eventually will come out um, and it'll kind of even help accentuate what we're already doing here with 19, but it's not built default into the game. Most modern tractors don't have gear shifts anyway. They're yeah. either, you know, drive, neutral, or reverse. Yep. Oh yeah, of course, play will. I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, people will do it. 
And Josh, sure. Thank, thank you there, Josh. Appreciate it. Yeah, that. And I, I will be. I don't know. What's the uh, what's the gameplay feel like for you on the server, Nick? Does it's pretty it good. Feel pretty smooth. It was a little jumpy when I first joined, and it's uh, smoothed out. Yeah, because I mean, um, just from my perspective, you look really smooth driving around. Those lights look good. Thank you there, Beast Kill. Appreciate it, Beast. Picky Cotton watching me. Oh boy. <laughs> girls allowed like framing and tractors. Uh, are you asking if girls are allowed? I can't. Uh, yep, there's female characters in the game. True. That's what you mean. Yep. And you can have a lot of different stuff on them now. Sunglasses, hats, jackets, shirts. Buddy, see, I don't... No, you can't ride. I don't think you can ride together. Keep drifting. Yeah. yeah That's no. <laughs> Oh, Bud said it's smooth because he's not on there. Yeah. You need to get Bud's dongles. Oh, dear. <laughs> That's an inside joke. That's not a reason to file a report. <laughs> not family friendly we talked about so much not I do wish this this is the only thing I, 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 I some of the tractors feel like they cruise for a while so after you let off the gas it feels like they, they roll for a bit I would, I would like a little, a little bit more of that that'd be a little bit Especially those track tractors in real life, if you let off the gas, it'll, it'll roll to a stop, but it won't stop immediately. Yeah, yeah. Well, and, and I will take that back a little bit. Um, there, There's, well, I mean, there's a pretty good bit whenever, you, um, whenever you're whenever going down a pretty steep hill. I, I do feel like it could run away from me if you had, a, had something heavy running behind you. So. Hey, Tiff, well, thank you. Happy Thanksgiving to you guys. And I'll be here all weekend. Seriously, we'll be doing this. So we'll, if you if you uh, if you go to sleep tonight or you just can't stay up or whatnot, we'll be in going at it tomorrow. Um, Saturday should be a thing. Sunday, so we'll go. And like I said, if you guys got anything else that you want to see, especially if you want to say, hey, I'd love to see a feature, the new combine, or I'd love to see a feature, any new cedars, whatever. We'll try to pick some things out that are definitely brand new uh, with 19 and showcase those with you guys as well. So anything you want to see, make sure you comment in the video. Or make sure that I see it here inside, um, uh, inside of live stream. Other than that, yeah, Joe. Oh yeah, man. No, oh, you can cut grass, man. You gotta cut grass. There are a couple different ways too. They've got a nice chrome. Uh, that big M is in here, as well as uh, a couple different mowers, like the Nova Cats back in the game. This last strip here. Shadow, what's up, man? Yeah, it'll be nice, man. It'll be nice there, Miller. Hopefully, I need to find out whenever they're going to, uh, whenever they're going to get all that stuff squared away. I hope Tuesday. We could cut a little grass if you want. Cut a little grass. Uh, I was about to say you got this whole little area right here north of 13. It's already been bought. Why don't we do that? Um, <clears throat> Before I finish this. Well, if you do, we can move on to the next thing. No problem. Oh, yeah, Judge. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, I did notice when you're harvesting the crops, they actually leave with a header and don't don't come through. <laughs> I remember that, man. Every time the corn would chop through there, it would come through your cap. I haven't. Have you chopped corn yet, Nick? I have not. I haven't either. We need to do that one good night. Everybody loves a good silage haul. Yeah. All right, so we'll see some animations here. Of course, you know this stuff's going to be good. I don't know that, man. I just feel like their stuff's extra clean this, this time. Yeah, and the hose is hooked up to the back. That's, that's right. Dynamic hoses. That's right. Y'all get a good look at that? Dynamic hoses on. 
And that's with everything. That's not just with certain things. You see how the beacons and stuff run off the off the back, man? It just it looks good. Even when you disconnect it, they curl up onto the pitch like they would in real. Yeah, there you go. Right there. The cool thing is, you'll notice here on the bottom, uh, once you back up to them, you get the attached rather than getting the, the standard one up on the top. So if you want to, you can have you know, this and hide it up with F1 like you normally do. So you still got all your keyboard controls, your console controls, your own console. Um, there you go. There you go. You can see the hook, who's this hookup, everything. Good stuff. All right. Back, uh, back to the store? I guess so. So we'll drop these off. Um, I guess, you know, we got enough money. We can buy whatever we want to. <laughs> Thanks, Walter. Yeah, I know. All right, yeah, 30. <clears throat> Good Lord, what did we just buy? Good Lord, Northeast Nebraska. Getting a little edgy in chat there. <laughs> easy killer easy there are dedicated grass fields in here too but it's pretty far away to drive well um, I would say <clears throat> hey what's up there son dude Wilson Grain we're gonna do this Wilson We'll do some Wilson Grain. We'll, we'll, we'll do that whenever we've... Uh, just we're going to wind up just doing a little bit of everything, aren't we? Kind of see how this yeah. is going to go. I guess just ask Chad if they want us to drive to a grass field, and then they can see more of the map on the Well, there you go. Phil 5 and 4, thank you there. For, is that Farm Alls Forever? Farm Alls Forever. And hey, James. Thank you there, guys. Big thumbs up. Appreciate it. All right, we'll shut down there. Speed that up a little bit. All right, let's roll. So here's new. This is uh, one of the new grass cutters here. So this kind of like the the big uh, what do they call this thing? The big M. Is this uh, 450? There you go. So we normally, I think, as a mod for BC, we had the was it the 500? I think is what we yeah. had. What's up, Monso? How are you, man? How to get? Are we we we've played. We've played religiously, man, for like two days straight. 24 hours a day, man. Uh, grain bins, one with the extensions, extra grain bins that they connect with the drag conveyor. And the bin roof are just placed next to it. Um, I don't know if they connect, but each one... Okay, well, here, let's just do this. Let's just do this real quick. Uh, thank you there, Jack Wayland. Appreciate it, buddy. Um, so let's go to the store real quick. Um, and I'll we'll, we'll look through a few of these things. I don't want to spend too much time in this, but... As if you guys are wanting to know. So with each silo brings in a certain capacity. So if you do purchase land and you want to put the large uh, silo extension on, once you've got the large grain, grain silo, then you just add the extension and it adds another 100,000. The same way it does, you know, so you just keep adding those extensions for as many as you need. Um, <clears throat> so you've got a couple different, you got a couple different ones. And the same with the bunker silos. Um, you can see you get doubled ones, single ones, and there may be where the mods come out where the guys offer a triple or a quadruple if you want to try to build your own BGA. I'm not exactly sure um, what exactly they'll do on that, but anyway, you've got a couple different options here and then extensions on that. So there's nothing, drag conveyors or nothing, like you shouldn't be doing any of that. Uh, they should literally just kind of plug plug and play right beside one another. It's really easy. It's not uh, It's not really as complicated as you may think. Um, the one thing, if you have not seen the store, I'll do this really quick. Um, the store is really broken up in a couple different things. Basically, all your vehicles and drivable vehicles. Uh, and then after that, you've got all your trailers. So all of your implements, which I kind of, this is one of those things that's different from FS17. So I find myself like looking at the store going, oh my God, where are the mowers? Oh my God, where are they at? And you just have to go to a different tab. So you've got, you know, five new tabs out now that's a little bit different than it was. So, um, anyway, we've got the mowers here. we got the big M. So... Uh, Nick, if you want to pull your map up, I'll just I'll just follow you up. <clears throat> well, I'm having issues. For some reason, I cannot drive that more. It's shooting my pain up into 1700, but I can drive anything else, so oh. I'll just grab a baler or something. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. I wonder if it's... Uh... Hmm. What's up, Chevy? How are you, man? 
Uh, what kind of cars? Okay, while well, he's doing that, I'll show you a few other things. Um, whoops, not this one. All right, here we go. So uh, there's pretty much, uh, basically looks like what a 1978 Datsun and what looks to be a newer, it kind of looks like a Tundra, honestly. Um, it's what it kind of resembles and then you've got these. So those are your only two cars. Um, as it comes to, you know, semi trucks, you do have a couple of options there. The Warrior, you same got the Tatra, the Man, and then two other ones. The Barracor's out. They've got this Roadrunner and Hulk. Uh, Tri-axle drive, which is really, almost kind of resembles the old Kenworth. Maybe the 378 mm, kind of resembles those. Um, but yeah, Lizard Brands, there's no, no licensing on that. Oh yeah, so, there you go. Oh man, that looks good. Here, let me, um, hang on a second. Well, let me see, uh, well, I don't know, you can't pull your brakes out. You see, we got LED lights on those. I was going to show you. Yeah, there you go. So you know how, like, an FS-17 um, used to have, like, that little bulb of light that would pop out? It's totally different now. I mean, the lights and stuff actually are, like, very legit. So we got the Coon. So the Coon pack is all in this. So DLC-wise, everything from the Big Bud pack is here. Everything from the Coon pack is here. Ropa pack is in here. What else am I missing, Nick? Ropa, Coon, this one, Homer. Well, so I think something we need to show right now is this. It's just too good to. Oh, here, let me let me cut some stuff off. Here. I feel like I'm hollering. Not sure. All right. Yeah, there we go. <sighs> <clears throat> All right, so half a mil right there. The Rubicon 9000. Look at this. Look at this beast. thing is incredible all the animations and stuff now some of these things actually have animations like in the engine that actually work um, but you remember in 17 though we had like a lot of these were just like single you know the engine was all one color no multicolor textures nothing like that well now that's changed a lot We've got chrome pieces on here reflective pieces on here this one's got a, a lot you even see this too um, like with the case the John Deere's and stuff they've got a lot of really cool things going on because their grills are actually a little bit transparent, so you can actually see fans and see stuff moving in there. But we may have to. Uh, Some people wanted to see trucks. <laughs> Show us the trailers. All right. <laughs> uh, let's we see. see. We did. We need to do like. A, we need to do some like big, huge showcases and some of this stuff. <clears throat> Alright, so there's the Wilson. Everybody wants to see that. Then you got the Load King. Now this one can be white or black. The cool part about the, the one Wilson pace setter is you can... It's uh, bays are actually individual this time. Mm -hmm. So you can do two things. Yep. Two different compartments. Before it was just basically like all slung together. And here's the uh, the Wilson livestock. So you guys, for especially you're hauling animals, and you got different animals too. You got different species of, spi of pigs. You've got different horses, cattle. So you don't just have one particular kind. So um, you got different kinds. And I like the Wilson trailer, man. This this uh, livestock trailer is pretty. It's pretty bad to the bone. <clears throat> yeah, we're gonna do cotton there, Logic. <laughs> Play with the chickens. Yeah, screw the chickens. <laughs> yeah, drummer, and this is this is only like some of it, man. It's really there's there's a lot there's a lot of new stuff too. So we'll just do some real cut grass. So we'll just do a couple of passes to get you guys. You see a couple of bales. We'll switch on to something else. We'll do cotton here before we finish up. Show you guys a new harvester in action. Like I need to look for. Uh... Need to look for the train. I do, yeah, man. That train comes around like 55 miles an hour. <laughs> um, Logan, I'll, I'll check for you, man. I'm not exactly sure what what exact times they have. What's up, Killer Point? Now, are you gaming, bus fan? What's up, man? Demo. <laughs> <clears throat> Liam, Woo. I had to read. I'm glad to read your uh, comment twice, man. I thought he wanted this with something else, and I was like, oh, no, that's it, fails. <laughs> yeah. 
I'm good, man. <laughs> uh, it depends, uh, Sly. Uh, some oh, of that could be uh, air air valves. Or... Some of those might be air brakes. Well, I don't know. Dude. Any of these tractors still have air brakes on them. Not really any of them. Yeah. Like compressor valves and stuff, maybe. I think he's talking about the little clicking and hissing in the... Uh... I don't know if this one has any. We've... The tractor's a little different. Okay, Jonathan, there's only two. And this, this is the only thing. Is only two. Where, where would you go? I lost you. Okay, turn left. Turn left. There's only two. There's the uh, the gold hopper, which is the same one we had in 17, and a new bell trailer that has extendable sides, right or left. Now, I can show that in the store, but it's it's kind of like your catch-all, at least. And and I would imagine uh, trailers will get some updates, and we'll have some trailers pretty quick on the mods, console and PC side. field now. <laughs> Did you see that big old bump? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, let's see, make sure. Oh yeah, I didn't even think. Does it win, bro? I thought I was looking to see if it had a work. Um, I don't know if it will find out. I'll toggle work modes. Left control Y. Uh, oh yeah. Oh, I bet that's it. There you go. Winter right to the middle. Or if you do the work mode, it just does it all over. There's the right side, there's the left side, and there's everything. Oh, that's pretty cool. So now you can automatically winter with this one. That's why it's half a million dollars. The what? The ground after you mow is pretty interesting. Cutting it down to the dirt. <laughs> Cutting it down to the stubs. We just scalped it right there. This grass is never going back. <laughs> I don't know. We're fixing to find out, Walter. We'll find out, man. We had something totally, totally different planned for today, but you guys were like, hey. I do like the fact that. Uh, Nice. That was a good video, but I actually watched that one too. Well, if you can see the grass laying down and everything. We saw hey, the wind was still there. I'm about to get you up out in the lost. What happened? Yeah? What happened? Something happened? I just I didn't have the pickup down, so there's no bales. Oh. <laughs> I'm not judging. It's just embarrassing that something Bud would have done. <laughs> How does it feel? What you mean? Uh, I, you know, the game itself. I mean, uh, I mean, it, it feels. It feels. Yeah, I mean, it feels good. I mean, it feels realistic inside. Now, you would have, supposedly, now, you guys are telling me they would have a lot of bouncing back and forth in the um, in the cab and stuff. You can see if the look down, see how everything's shaking? Now, supposedly, that's, does that happen with you, Nick? Does your yeah, cab... Um, it depends on what I'm doing, but, yeah, it's, it's bouncy if you're going over the windrows and stuff. Okay, so mine's probably not bouncing because I got track IR. Now, track IR, it works with this game, but I would imagine that it's probably going to need some kind of an update. So, I, I would, if you are a track IR owner, you may want to just try it without first and see what you think. But I actually kind of like being able to, to look. I mean, I could do it. Hop with out that. and look at the bale. All right. It's pretty impressive. You can see the individual blades of grass sticking out. Maybe it's got the twine on top. Not quite as blocky as it was before. 
Huh? Yeah. It's nice, man. Steering up. A little stiffer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely, Walter. Phase light. Thank you there, Phase. Appreciate it, man. Alright, let's get her. There we go. Now, top left, you can see a little tractor, so things change this time. So it goes from white, goes into an orange, so whatever's, uh, whatever implement's active uh, on your current vehicle. So it gets the, uh, what gets the orange light there. No gray bog, the baler only does 15. <laughs> I think it's kind of weird that you scalp them all the way down to the ground like that. <laughs> mud, mud, what's up? It's like those people that get letters from the city because they don't cut their lawn, so the next time they mow it, they just take it down to the <laughs> oh. Yeah. Alright, we'll do one more track here and then we'll uh, buzz on to something else. So, oh, so here's one other thing. Just a random, uh, just thought about this. So, if you're looking um, and you want to see, like, what, is it, uh, what does it look like to, to own land? So, basically, when you buy, instead of buying a field, you actually buy a whole parcel of land. So, you can actually buy land that, that doesn't even, like, have anything. So, if you wanted to purchase this, there's the purchase value over half a million dollars. Uh, but it may have trees, it may have water source on it, maybe uh, whatever. So you think as we move into forestry, any of that kind of stuff, you're actually going to have to buy the land, uh, which would be the same that you would do in real life. You'd have to either pay out a lease or you'd have to pay out the owner to take all of this stuff. So in this game, you're actually going to have to purchase the land and then take the trees off of it and that kind of thing. So it's it's a little bit more of a realistic approach to it. And you also, if you want to build your own farms, um, you have to have the land and you have to own the land. Now, the field wise, whether or not it's on a field, whether it's not, once you own the land, then you can place your decorative buildings, your barns, you can place that any anywhere you want to. So that particular part of it's pretty cool. So, I, I, you know, that'll, that'll at least offer, especially on console, that'll offer a lot of little customization. I mean, I, me and Nick were talking the other night and I remember when I back on the PS4 days uh, with FS15 and 17, we didn't have the options that PC had on that. So we would cultivate stuff a path, and we'd clean up the edges and then put buildings and stuff down. Well, you have a little bit more free reign to do that in 19. So it won't be, won't be like a full out deal, but it will be uh, quite enhanced from what it was from 15 and 17. So that, that'll be pretty cool. Uh, that'd be something to look forward to. If you wanted to show horses, you'd just take a trailer over to the store and buy something. You don't have to have the paddock. All right, we go back down there. We can I probably have to sell some of that stuff. You can uh, you can purchase those if you want to. I'll go do that. Stop this. All right. Yeah, I'll do I'll do the same here. It's kind of like it's gonna be like a catch-all. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, let's uh, let's tab. There we go. Yes, it is air ride. Yeah, everything's you know all the seats and stuff all have that air ride on it. So my track IR uh, zeroes that function out. But without this, uh, without the uh, the track IR, um, you would have some uh, a lot more sway. So here's your um, your maybe your I don't know what this is. I mean, it's borderline avalanche, borderline tundra. I don't know. Borderline something. <laughs> TRD and a Ford had a kid. There you go. We'll call it the tour. So all the sounds, the crank up sounds and startup engine startup and stuff, all sound pretty good. And they're they're individual too. They're not like all the very same sound, which is nice. Um, I'm gonna pull up the garage. We can actually sell some of this stuff if you want to. Um, I'll take the semi trailer over there just to see what it looks like with the uh, stuff in it. All right, so we'll sell that. All right, so yeah, the mud, yeah.
Oh, we will judge. Yeah, El Pepe. I, uh, yeah, man. We we will. There's whistle livestock. You guys like the whistle livestock stuff? Looks good. It actually looks pretty good with that truck. It actually, looks like it belongs. John Deere's. No, no. Me, 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 me. They're pretty. They're pitiful. They are pitiful. All right. Let's see. Brands. Oh, brands, 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 brands. All right. You want to check? Um, all right. So if you wanted to, I'll show you real, real quick here, run through. So there gives your doghouse with uh, with the, with there. So anyway, you got chicken coops. You got two sizes, small, large, and every one of these has a small and a large. So small cow enclosures, large ones, small horse, large horse, and yada yada yada. So you kind of see what everything looks like. It does have a gold crest look. Uh, the pigs have got a little different building, um, but, uh, but you kind of tell it's got a lot of the same stuff. So this may be something I have no idea if, um, if since these are now in the pins replaceables, if modders will be able to come in and then kind of revamp these and then be able to offer these on console plus PC. I'm not sure how the mods themselves will work out on that yet. So, you know, be something to kind of keep your eyes peeled um, and, and then see what comes up and ask those, you know, ask those questions when the time comes. Because um, it may be since they are now placeables. Uh, as long as they don't have anything special, then they should work for console as well as PC, and it should be stuff that should go in the um, mod hub. So that's just something to keep keep in track there. Uh, thank you there, Charles, Jacob, Iris, Random Andy. Thank you guys, appreciate it. Uh, I guess when we go over there, a few people wanted to see what different animals you can buy. All right. <clears throat> Yeah, they don't, Walter. I'm sorry, man. Mike Lee, what's up, man? All right, what do you want me to do, Nick? What? Grab the horse trailer. Just go over and uh, check out the animals and get some cotton. All right, let's see. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. Where is that? It's, al animal? it's already in the parking lot. Oh, you've already got it's it? Animal transport, oh. yeah. Okay. That's unfortunately the only thing you can haul horses in. All right, where am I taking this? Uh, follow, just follow me. Alright. Alright, Luis fold up your said... Tailgate there, guy. Oh, yeah, just <laughs> fell it out. Whoops. Hang on. Well. There we go. Ah, there we go. Alright, and, and it has a little cover. <laughs> it's like, wait a minute. Alright. So Louise, thank you there. Solo Rider, Restoration, Passion, The Red, 240, Chandler, Barber, Charles Esley. I right, got Jacob, Random, Andy, and Luis Vaca. Thank you. And is that uh, Mason Metcalf. Yeah, I wonder if Streamlabs got hung up just dumped all the subs into one. <laughs> That's what it feels like. I'll take them out. We get them, right? Yeah, we'll look at we'll look at all that, y'all. We'll just hang on a minute. <laughs> y'all are throwing stuff out so fast. Very excited. Yes. I like. Greetings from Russia. Good stream. Show me the new harvester. Is that? Well, there's three. Four. Four new harvesters. Actually, five. Chevy guy, 17. Thank you, everybody. Appreciate it, man. Okay, so we'll go around to the back side. Tub Shadow. Good, man. There is a low boy. Just the the same one from seventeen, the uh, the gold gone hoff, gold hopper. You can pass me. You have to pull up here. And Colt Shooters, the nameless gamer. Thank you, there, buddy. Appreciate it, man. All right, so we'll pull up in here. Can you buy them straight from in here? Yeah. Yes, you can. All right, That's so fun. here's your animals: pink, pink, white, black, and white. Now, I don't know. Cheap white, brown, black, white. I guess these are choices, but they don't really have any bearing, do they? Or do they? I don't think so. The I think it's really cool they added the bulls. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, the, the, the bulls still have udders on them. Really? <laughs> 
Yes, the bulls have butters. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh man. Welp. <laughs> we do that, and we have the uh, and this is from the platinum. Oh, and I forgot to tell you, yes, the platinum uh, platinum DLC. All of that stuff is also in Farm Sim. So you guys that were maybe here earlier kind of went through all the DLC. So basically everything but the Big Bud tractors are in here, honestly. It's like everything. Gray, 2057, Jim Thomas, Franz Bullock, and Colton Childers. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it, man. Oh, I know. I know, Michael. All right, so what are we going to do? Here's the horses. So we got Dunn, Seal Brown Black. We got a Bay Horse, Chestnut, Palomino, the Pinto, Horse Gray, and then the Brahmin. So you got Brahmin cattle, which is all from the Platinum uh, DLC. If you had the extension, uh, expansion when they brought in uh, Estancia Lampacho, and then we got buy a couple <clears throat> horses. You can see them in the trailer. Okay, let's uh, let's let's go for uh, let's go for a gray one. So let's put a gray one in there, and uh, let's let's put a. Ooh, I like the seal brown. Let's do the seal brown. All right, so now we gotta open her up. There they are. Woo. Can you ride them from the tractor? Um, well, I thought I thought you could, but I couldn't figure it out. Uh, you know, I wonder if you gotta go take them to the paddock and then and you drop them off there. I can't remember. <laughs> uh, it doesn't look like it. If I ain't doing anything from here. So anyway, there you go, the horses. Woo! Hey, Charlie Turner with the 20 euros. Thank you there, man. Mike Benson, what's up, man? Brady. Uh, please, we start driving. Please drive in Dr. Person. First person? Ah, gotcha. Ah, I gotcha. We're looking for Whitworth. It's probably driving someone mad that I'm actually driving with the tailgate down. <laughs> I'll have to do it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. That's what I figured, Boot Top. I didn't figure I could just drop them out here. Yeah, so you got a paddock to drop that out. So, anyway. Well, there's all the animals. You guys got to see a quick, a quick peek at that. What else we want to do, man? Let's do something else. I'm just gonna pull this around the back side here. Set it by. Should place we do it. cotton now, or? I guess you guys want to see cotton. I'll show you the auger beans. It's, um... All right, we'll do that. You guys want to see that? So, go whatever ones. <clears throat> So the coolest thing is we got a seed runner now, which is pretty cool. So you can place the trucks, you know, whatever. So you can actually preload this and have this in for seed and everything else. Now you can see auger wagons wise, but you can carry the granular fertilizer as well. Um, and then you've got the Kins and then the Elmer's is the brand new one uh, that come in the Hallmaster. 93,000, 70,000 capacity, 37. I think this one's 36, 30, and the 19. They don't have the big star from the platinum one. I'm not exactly sure why. Uh, but they don't have the sorrow one, uh, the big double wheel one. Which I, I kind of like that one, but um, I don't have. They didn't bring the big bud one, and that's the other one they didn't bring was the big bud. Um, all right, I saw stuff being bought. What got bought? I just sold stuff so there was room. Ah, uh, all right. So we doing cotton next? Sure. Unless you wanted me to buy the wagon. No, sorry. What's up, Cyber Fury, man? <laughs> blue, blue. Uh, what are the semi trucks? Um, yeah, I'll, I'll show you real quick. Real quick. <clears throat> so you got uh, the same ones you had before, and you got this warrior, and then a Hulk, and then a, a triaxle, and then you've got a nice sleeper here with the Roadrunner. So uh, either one of those two things. Now, trailer wise, um, I know this is probably one thing someone to know. Well, exactly. You got the Wilson's Load King, which is kind of way more your more American style. And you still got the Crampy, which is the same one we had before. Um, and the Chrome was the same before. Now, this Anna Burger is a new one here. And you've got the Strautman. And you got a couple of different ones, but they're still all about that same size. Still got the Josk and the Agriliners um, and the Crampies that we had before. Um, none of that stuff's actually really any different. Even even the uh, the Forstritz there and the Strautman. That one's probably the smaller one we didn't have before, but um, but yeah. Kind of get an idea. Sugar Cane's all in this one as well, so if you didn't buy Platinum and you're like, well, maybe I'll try that. Yeah, it's all in uh, it's all in 19. So 
cultivators. There's a ton of stuff between disc harrows, uh, cedars, soap solars, power harrows, planters, uh, and plows. So basically, cedars is anything but the specialty crops. Planters are all specialty. Uh, and then between how you use plows, power harrows, uh, power harrows subsolars, and disc harrows, um, they kind of all do the one of the three options. That's plowing, cultivating, um, and they do them in different combinations in different ways. So um, this game actually gives you some, you know, you got some choices as to how you want to use those things individually. So, so there's Nick's bought the. Um, this is one of the new ones here. Yeah. The Hallmaster. I think they're all new. Got a total revamp. Mm. Sorry, guys. <clears throat> Starting to lose the voice. <laughs> I wouldn't even want to know what that was. <laughs> and here's the new the new ones from Kin. So yeah, these are new. And then uh, we'll show you the little seed seed runner over here. It's pretty cool. I see. That's cool. Riley Bailing, thank you, man. Appreciate it. Nash Brayman, thank you guys. Appreciate it. And then uh, one thing I did forget to tell you is you got multiple options on most of all the trackers. Um, I will show you this real quick because you might might be interested in this. From the tractors, they also separate them up between small, medium, and large. Uh, yeah, there you go, Nash. You got yours in there. So let's say you want uh, the Fint. This is one of the new flagships that was brought in, brand spanking new for FS19. So if you want this, you've got a couple of engine choices like you always did. Um, but your wheel setup, you can actually have row crop the three meters on every single one of the tract uh, tractors. So if you want the big ones or you want the small ones, um, and we'll do row crop. Each one of those has the own, their own individual thing. So pretty, pretty cool. Wheel loader, you only got the New Holland, but it's pretty bad at the bone, as you can see. I mean, it's pretty awesome. So anyway, so there's that. You want to show the harvester? Yeah, man. Let's go up and do some, just some cat. Thank you there, Mac. 5051. Brennan, 39343. Thank you. Appreciate it. And the Bella Meg. Thank you, the Bella. Riley says quad track. Well, we do. We, we do. We'll, we'll, so here's the thing. We'll be here like literally all weekend, every night. We'll be streaming, doing some stuff between this one. We'll even move on over and uh, check out the uh, European map as well for maybe some of our European pals that might like to see both maps. Um, we can run both of those. Are we already folded out, extended? Yeah. I, I thought they were okay. folded up. I guess not. Yeah. So here's basically we'll take you down to the folded state. And then unfold. See, look at all the animations and crap, man. It's just so much going on in this. Look at all the insides and all the teeth and all the combs and crap. This is so much going on. <laughs> 24 hours. Yeah, no. If you look closely through the mesh, you can see the augers inside. I know, man. It's crazy. All the way on the top. That's good, man. E fish. Thank you, man. All right, go ahead, man. I'll, I'll follow you off your corner, man. Get back up, get turned around here. So much pressure to not drive like an idiot. <laughs> Uh, uh, you know, the farm manager mode might be good just to get you bearings, Walter. And then after that, I'd say, man, go and do the farm manager, man. We, we've been doing farm sim long enough, dude. We, we know what's up, man. You know, just enough to get what's going on. And then after that, it's good. All right, so here we go. So let's go pick that cotton right off the top. I love the fact that it's so narrow you can do in cab and not miss anything. Right. Let me make sure that I'm, uh, yeah, make sure I was getting it. So, so here's the thing with cotton. If you think it's not like a hay bale. So this thing produces a massive big old square bale. And you have, uh, what, two in that one trailer only carries two of these things. But they're like 20,000 liters or pounds of material. They're huge. So they're not like a, uh, you know, some, now I know in North Carolina, the cotton fields here, North and South Carolina, they usually produce a, a bigger than a hay bale. It's like a four or 5,000 pound and they can actually pick them up with spikes on the trackers. But these are produced the big old huge squares. Uh, so definitely a, um, definitely a little bit different than what I'm used to seeing. 
And if you watch the machine as you're going, the hydraulics push the compression down to, you know, smash it to where it can get more. Yep. You just have to uh, mind where mine's going. <coughs> Each one of these has got the, uh, you see the inside clock spinning right there? Let me just stop for just a second. There you go, see them? Every single one of those, man, that's, I mean, that's a lot of, I don't know, man, that's just a lot of detail, I think. I mean, I, I think, you know, FS-17 was good, we liked the vehicles, but, I, you know, there was some, like, detail in some of these tractors and mod-wise that we would download, and we were like, man, dude, this, this is crazy, man, it's, it's all the fans moving. You know, this moves and this harvester's got this and, you know, it does this and it really looks realistic. But, I mean, all of this stuff in here is just, um, every single one of these harvesters, tractors, like this one, especially all those moving parts and stuff. And I think that's going to be available for both one. That's that's pretty impressive, man. Ah! Oh! Big shout out to Alex D for saying I look like Tim McGraw. I hope that's a compliment. I don't really like Tim McGraw. Isn't it? I thought everyone said you look like Luke Bryan. Yeah, which yeah. I, I don't do that at all. Yeah, yeah. They said it. Yeah, they they said I look like uh, Luke Bryan. I I didn't see it. I don't know. Maybe I saw it. Now. Somebody's going over. Yeah. Have you got yours compressing yet? Have a what? Got it compressing the bale yet? Just, uh, Yo, you mean watch, that. Your, watch your external view for a while. Oh, it's doing right now. Oh, yeah, it's doing right now. Look at there. Just right, smashing it. the top. Yeah, so see it coming across the top there. Spinning the auto rag and then pressing it all down. So this right here is how big the bell's going to be. Someone asked if... Uh, Someone asked if it looked weird. Honestly, I don't know, man. Because I, I, uh, I haven't seen it, actually. Nick's seen it. Oh, Jimmy the farmer, it's because he works harder than you. What, what was it? Uh, he said, why does this dumb A get the game early? <laughs> yeah, because I've got uh, got a year and a half of hard work. <coughs> well, uh, uh, it would take forever, but I think we should speed it up till night. The lights on these are incredible. Absolutely, yeah, let's do it. They still don't have beacons on them, unfortunately. Let me, uh... uh you have to do this time. Yeah, I know. There you go. You know, Blake Shelton? Yeah. You might take offense to Blake. You're neither a lover of Blake or you're a hater. <laughs> I concur with that. <laughs> <laughs> you don't like him or you hate him. There's no, there's no in the middle of the road. I think there's a lot of uh, used to like, but not anymore. Okay. What's up there, random Andy? Thank you there, being Gary. Thanks again, Alex. I don't know if I if I appropriately said thank you, but if I didn't, thank you again. Appreciate it, man. We sure picked the big field. Just look at your capacity. We're oh. not even at 4,000. Hey, look at there's Mr. Def. What's up, man? Five big and seven from Def, man. I hope you're doing good, man. Good to see you. Split two gaming. What's up, man? Yeah, a Streamlabs link. Ah, man. All right. I thought I fixed all that stuff, but I, I guess I didn't, man. 
I'm gonna see if I can do it, man. Good to see you, bud. You, you do have to replant cotton. For the guy who asked. Oh, there you go. Brother Death. Please do something else. <sighs> Just do the cotton, never mind. Just do the thing. Just do the thing. Uh, do the semi trucks have Jake brakes? No. No, but they do have good. Uh, they do have good air air brake release valves. I think I do like. I mean, for those that that like, uh, depending on the view, you know, farm sim like seventeen, we had the view was very much on the single zero degree plane, so everything you know is almost like your head, but. It's weird, a little bit weird with track hour, but it's it's nice because I don't have to, you know, I can look, but it, it almost kind of swings you, like in a 45, which is which is kind of nice, especially if you're harvesting because you don't have to make those odd, weird looks, you know. <laughs> Dennis, what's up, man? <laughs> hey. Yeah, we it's, it's it's 120 man. I can't make it go no faster. We're we're at least at 5:30. Uh, it gets dark around 8:30 in the game, at least on this map. <laughs> I guess as long as the fans blowing on you there, Byron. My day's great, Braden. Yeah, you can't, uh, what do you mean, like the doors and stuff? Is, are you, is that a serious one? Restoration passion. Uh, can you see the charter visibly moving from inside so you can feel the suspension from inside without the track hour? Can you see the, I think you mean, can you see the chair? Yeah, so, oh, from the outside. Yes, so everything moves from the outside as well. Oh, right, here comes nighttime right now. Actually, let me slow it down just a, just a hair. Get too fast here. There you go. Yeah, man, that's that's yeah, that right there, man. That's. I've actually got mine to do a couple different things. So I've got a couple different buttons: the front lights, back lights, and then you can do a do a basically a cycle log. You actually got one more light setting to go. It shoots them off to the side. Ah. This, this thing's like Christmas. Yeah, this one's especially. Good. Yeah, let's get this one in there for restoration. Let me, let me get on the right track here. Now, here's the cool thing. Now, watch his foot. Oh, it's the foot all it does on the tractors. Not in the harvester. I'll show you in the tractor. Don't let me forget restoration. The tractor actually puts his foot on the gas. I mean, I don't care who you are, that's pretty legit. The lights are awesome. I don't think too far off. <laughs> Not too far. Yeah, I know. Well, at least I got fuel in the harvester. What license do they get next? The only thing I can think of, the only thing really left for them to get licensing for would be, uh, I mean, they've got all the big ones. Adco, John Deere, Case. I mean, all the other ones would be like International, but that's not a, like a big one. The only other one really that I think of would be Plus. I mean. Yeah, you know what? Just because, hang on a minute. I'm 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 gonna destroy him this room because this 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 kind of blew my mind. Let me zoom in here. All right, so what what's his foot? He was actually pushing the pedal down, and that matches my pedal. 
focus on the brake. Look at the tractor from the side. You can see the cab kind of sling forward a little bit when you stop on it. Yep. The cab's totally independent of the tractor itself, plus you got the air ride on the seat. Yeah. That's, that's legit, man. Like I said, I don't care who you are. Yeah, they, they did, Walter. There's a lot of new vehicles. There'll be some things that people won't like, and that's, that's always, you know. Um, I guess which is the good thing about PC is that a lot of that stuff gets kind of taken care of. The modders kind of step in and create and fill the cracks where, you know, we feel that certain things got left off or certain things just didn't get a ton of attention. Um, I like the fact that ground response and the tire and crop destruction, all that's a part of the actual sim itself now. It's not, uh, you know, will be extra mods added in. And I mean, from what we're experiencing, I mean, I know Nick's doing really good on the ping. We're on the multiplayer server. Now, granted, there's only two of us here, but, um, you know, still when you're doing a multiplayer game like this and still, you know, working with one another, like, you, you still kind of feel it. I mean, it's a lot better than an Activision pre release. There you go. Hey, yo! <laughs> oh, Kubota. Yeah, that's true. I forgot about it. Well, Kubota's really not a. Uh, I guess they are. They're more like small. I, I tell you what, it would be nice to have some like, like yard tractors. I know that sounds weird, but like the smaller in front loaders that were like Kubota that are actually pretty big, but for like you know home use. They're not like commercial tractors. That, that's what I was. That's basically what I was getting at. <laughs> yeah, some of the tractors, the joysticks move, and the skid steers they move. Even the what we're driving now, the joystick suddenly goes backward and forward when you reverse and yep but some of the John Deere's have uh, they're like neutral drive and park all that gear selection oh yeah around the uh, the column steering column yeah mm -hmm. us unload it early. Say hey, what? It will, un it will let us unload it early if you're getting, uh, want to move on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, let's see. I'm going to try to unload here. You oh. work back around to the semi. Are you pr <laughs> let's just pull off. No, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll just, I'll raise up and I'll come your way. So now it's dark. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Maybe we should just keep harvesting until it light again. lights up again. Well, oh, I, well, I slowed it down, but yeah, I can, I can speed it back up. We'll get you guys. We'll get to see what actual pitch black golf looks like. Hang on, right there, Nick. Hang on, right there, bud. Just looking at the dynamic lights on mine. You're lighting this thing up like a Christmas tree. I guess, yeah, you can see me unload with your headlights. <laughs> oh, you're fixing it. You're going to unload right there? I can if you want me to. Why don't, you, why don't we just go ahead and harvest up? Where's the uh, semi? Uh, we got about a lap and three quarters to get back there all right let's do that and then we'll do that and then if you guys uh if you want to see something else here while we're uh while we're doing it this last little bit here let's see oh, go hour okay hour and a half gotta save some for later <laughs> yeah that can get pretty dark right, you know, this is pretty much it looks like what you're going to get for dark and I, I guess this might be a developer, so if you're, um, you know, if you're a map maker, you might be able to make this work. But it is dynamic, so as it gets in, so let's say if it's cloudy tomorrow in the game time. So if it says it's going to be cloudy, you'll actually see clouds moving in, and then it'll turn into like a very, very overcast. But it's not like a weather system, so don't, don't be confused on that. It's more graphics, but it's not like it's a picture that's just stretched in a, you know, in a floor. It does feel like... I don't, know. Feel, I don't know. It feels like you're you're in a globe or a sphere.
Hey, what's up, man? How much is the wheel? Well, it's the cost of the wheel itself, and then it's just the G29. So G29 is going for about 220 something, 230 something. If you buy the shifter, that's another 60 bucks on it. So it's the G29, and then you know, steering wheel wise, you got to buy a steering wheel adapter and then a spacer uh, to make a 70 millimeter fit on the G29 because it's a different bolt pattern. So um, a couple things kind of go into it. It's not just as easy as you know buy a wheel, but G29. Yeah. <laughs> no, the low load of Robert is the same, bro. And they even took the Flegel away, so you don't even get the like the American Flegel. You get the oh, you see clouds coming in. You see them forming on the side right over here. Now, as for whether or not that's, you know, I have no idea. So you know, we're seeing that, but I think they're going fast because the time sped up. Yeah. Oh yeah. Good point. Well, hey, I don't know why that's uh, moving so fast. Well, it's probably because the uh, drive the time speed up there, but yeah. Someone wants you to drive the train. Pretty cool, all the scenery you see. All right, there we go. So we'll do that. Stop that. Good pull. There we go. Alright, hang on for you go. Let me get. Let me make sure I'm offset to you there. Alright, I'm actually going to pop out. Actually, I'm going to shut mine down. Alright, go ahead. Look at all these animating parts. There you go. I got that a big old white turd. All right, so we'll unload our finished bale. Let's see, and make sure we get to that one. Oh. Oh yeah, man, Chad. There'll be oh yeah, there'll be tons of mods, man. It's gonna take a little while for things to go. There's been a lot of changes. There you go. All right, so daytime's coming back in. I'll slow it down just a little bit. Yeah, so you can see the clouds now is kind of rolling. So it was clear. So now you can see we've got some cloud action going in. Fold this back up. Yeah. Cloud watching. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> All right, let's. Um... All right, there's that. You wanna? Uh, you wanna do the semi? Sure back up and we'll uh, we'll watch the whole load in here so after these you can fit two of these now it comes two different ones thank you there Chad appreciate the sub man so you got two different kinds uh, this one you've got another one that carries them off single uh, so it carry off single bell at a time this one will actually carry two at a time we'll see them let it get lined up here and then we'll watch it uh... yeah baby this is good man it's good I remember kind of having this uh, you know, level of excitement there when I saw 17, and you know, 17 was a big jump from set from 15. I thought a lot of texture changes, a lot of graphic changes, so it's kind of cool to see uh, see all the new stuff. There you go. <laughs> How many more field? Well, we don't we don't have any more field of this. We we kind of cut what we want to there, Skylar. So they get there, Preston as well, and DeAndre. Thanks, guys. They're, they're not bad, Robert. They're a lot better than they were. How about that, man? Uh, so the pre-order does give you 
what is that little, it's like a little ATV. That's what the pre-order gives you. Think about that if you've got a bunch of buddies that have it. Um, you know, make sure you all pre-order. If not, just buy it on day one. Because if like one person doesn't have the pre-order, you won't be able to buy that tractor after the pre-order goes through. So if you're planning on doing a lot of mil uh, multiplayer, yeah, maybe ask your buddies if they're going to pre-order it as well. Because I mean, it's not like they're not going to have the game on Steam unless you know, unless you're talking console. Then it might actually sell it up at Walmart. But let's hop in here. I will look at the semis. So these are very similar to the other lizards that we had for 17. So the interiors are very much the same, but they actually sound pretty legit with all the air brake. The pss -pss. So they actually sound pretty good, so. Looks like you can sell those in the spinnery if you want to. <laughs> the spinnery. Where is the spinnery? East of the shop. Oh, okay, I see it. Yeah, so we'll tag it. This semi feels pretty good. I don't feel like it's uh, you know, not like a rocket ship when it takes off. Pretty subtle, but definitely not like uh, you know. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, make sure I get the right one. I think I got to turn. It's gonna be a long drive. You can turn there. Pretty sure. Uh, I think you can. If not, you'll just you know, just take the scenic route. There's a lot of interesting areas in this map. Yeah. You know, like uh, down on the ground, rivers and stuff that you can walk the horses around or drive. Yeah, Western Star. There you go, man. That, yeah, that's what I was looking for, man. I said that earlier, but yeah, you're right. It does have a Western Star feel to it. Uh, it what, what you mean equipment? You mean my setup? Well, enough. You know, a year and a half of live streaming and working hard for it. Unless you're talking about farm sim, then a little bit. All right, let's see. Best way down there is going to be. Yeah, we'll have to go here, then cross the shop, then go down. Hey, what's up there, Sam Gaming? How are you, man? So beautiful. Yeah, no, it is. Yeah, you're a loon. Yeah. It's nice that you know, I hear all the cicadas and stuff at night. They're good flies to train. Also, the train is we need to do a we need to do a showcase on the train because you can detach cars around and also do different cars for different things. So, and I need to do some more research into it. But you can looks like you can detach them and you can control each individual car for stuff, which is pretty neat. I wonder if these things have to be unloaded. Stop. Go. I think you just tilt the bed and they come out. I think it sounds like that. Probably right. And yeah, we're on the uh, Ravenport, which is the American one. So, thank you there, Sergeant Wood. One, two, three, four. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. All right, let's see. I think let's go this way. Yeah, let's try this.
Back where FTG belongs, right in a truck. Come on now. I just hope it has a cat engine. Hey, Jules, what's up? And Jules was one of my first moderators from PS4. Man, a long time to see. How are you, Jules? Hope you're doing well. All right, why unload bells? I don't know why you tell me, Nick. <laughs> why? So I'm unloading and nothing's happening. Oh, there <laughs> oh. it went. $10,000. $10,000 for those two bales. Well, yeah, for what it was. They, they weren't they weren't even probably a tenth pack. No, they weren't half. I do know that. All right. Let's do, I just want to, we'll showcase a couple more things here. Well, actually, we'll probably just, um, uh, let me cut this off here. Um, we'll switch down there to the store. So you guys were wanting to know, so here is the new, um, this is the, well, this is the new, the brand new harvester. So you guys are talking about the fence. So there's it. I'll show you real quick here. We'll unfold this thing up. All the animations inside. So there's that one. Shut it down so you can hear the other ones. You also need to go ahead and fire up these unless you're buying something else. <clears throat> Alright. Let's see. Oh, you got Which them one on you want to listen to first? All right, whichever one. So here's the two that we got the, the big one here, and then we got the secondary one. The second secondary one. There's the 790, so whoever was wanting the 790, there you go. strange they don't have tracks for the bigger one. Yeah, I know. They got the doubles, right? Uh, I don't think so. I'm thinking one of these John Deere's. Maybe the other one had doubles. Certainly the 560's not got tracks and oh, doubles too. That's the problem. There's, there's the double down here. Oh, there you go. There's... Yeah. My apologies. Yeah. The bigger to go home. There's turn signals. I'm trying to think what else. Dang, so you can see these got the uh, the sidebars there. So got some animation in these as well, not to mention what's uh here in the back. So every single one of these, man, I love how they got these windows to all this animation. All the struts and all the hydraulic arms and stuff. That's just really cool. Really done a good job with those. Yeah, there you go, Michael. <laughs> Alright, here's one of the uh, 625. The animations on these are extremely good. There's the big case, 9240 and the Holland 1090, which is all the standard stuff, but it does have a little bit of a, uh, a little bit of a makeover, it looks good. And then you got the uh, the big one, which is, uh, what's the like 90, and I think you can do a Challenger, Fent, or Massey Ferguson. So if one of those three are your brands, then uh, you can pick the check track for you. And a little bit, there's some It's even got the little cutter, the, what do they call it, the little um, rape knobs at the bottom, the cut knobs. All the PTO drives, good stuff, man. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff in here, Graybug, and I mean, it's, you know, from, from this point, you know, it only gets more, so, I mean,
mean, it's modder step in, especially with the John Deere stuff. Now that they have the license, I mean, it may be something where they can mod in some different types of engines, different wheels uh, configurations, or you know, stuff like that. I mean, so a lot of new options I think they can do go with. So here's the uh, last number 45. Uh, should be the 45 footer on this one. This is a great belt, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I like the, the rubber canvas between the, between mm. the corners. Yeah. It can't get wrong with that, man. It looks, it's got all the belt driven. I mean, think about it. That's a lot of stuff on the console. I mean, I'm, I'm just... I mean, that's a lot of stuff, especially coming out of the default game like that, plus it being multi-console you know, plus PC. It's going to be nice, man. It's going to be nice. It's going to be good. Looking forward to it. Colby Queso. What's up, buddy? Yeah, I know where I'm being, man. Busy, dude. Busy. And trust me, tomorrow I am going to feel this late night because I've been having to get up with the kids, man, every single morning. It's, whoo. That, that's where I've been. Oh. Yeah, there's, uh, Don't pay no attention to what you're seeing here. <laughs> oh. oh, dear. Oh, boy. Oh, man. Hey, thank you everybody, appreciate it, man. The odd thing, I'm not sure, it, it didn't look like there was a big dedicated bent header. <laughs> Even though it's the most powerful combo. We're just gonna, we'll take Feel this. free to look in the store instead of watching me. <laughs> We're going to take this all in. Let's take it all in and see what happens. Yeah, there is. Uh, where'd it go? Where'd it go? Yeah, there it is right there. The power flow. 12 meter. Is that 45? Th that's not even 45, though. Yeah, that's what's weird. What is that? 12 meter? What's the other uh, ones? 13.7. Hmm. That is that is odd. I was saying, well, maybe you can change the colors on these, but... Yeah, I was even thinking the case because you know you can have. Uh... Well, no, I was about to say that don't. That really just doesn't make any sense. Twenty-five foots as big as you can have on the Massey. I thought well, maybe you know. Yeah, no. Oh, interesting, man. Uh, is that Latch Goldsworthy? Thank you, there, Latch. Appreciate it, man. Yeah, yeah, I know. Um, is it a little, a little odd. Maybe I'm missing something on there, but anyway, how many sprayers? I think two. Um, I tell you what. Uh, can I help you do something there, Nick? <laughs> I feel like I need to help do something. Here, well, let me let me get some of these. Uh, oh shoot, I don't even remember which one you're in. You got out now, didn't you? Yeah, <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> yeah, never mind. The damage is done, though. <laughs> <coughs> If I can get to this cornfield or not. <laughs> oh, uh, man, this thing moves. Well, let's see. What do, what do I want to drive? <sighs> I think what's a new tractor besides? Oh, well, we could take the Fint. That's a new tractor. We could take uh, the T9. That's a new one. What you guys see you want to see? What's up, Zach James? Good to see you, brother. Might need a header trailer. <laughs> header trailer oh, got time for that man oh i might get there after i drive myself up a pole like indy as long as you don't fall asleep all right here we'll do uh we'll do we'll let you guys see the t9 now you can do doubles and triples which i know some of you guys will love that so you can do wides just regulars or wheel weights and then you've got the doubles and then the triples which i'm a big fan of but we'll just we'll just do the We'll just do the wheel weights for space. Well, that'll look good with the big, big O uh, auger wagon. Oh, the blue, yeah, it would. All right, I'm gonna do uh, just so people can see the size of these. Uh... Let me know if you get that up there, and what I'll do is I'll just transport, and then you can uh, 
see it in action. It's already been harvested. Oh. All right, so here's uh, the T9. Hop in here real quick. So here's the inside on this one. Kind of actually does sound the same, but that's actually a, a legit sound. I can get to field eight. We're probably, if we want to do this, we're probably going to have to get a header trailer. Okay. Well, we, we could save that and do that one for an episode. And that way you guys can see uh, see the full thing and full thing in full effect. Mess with some of the uh, corn planters and we'll do, uh, do some of that as well. That'd be cool. And then here's the case quad track for you guys that like the case stuff. Might be able to sneak up there. You can just do your thing. If I, if I can sneak up there, I will. <laughs> I don't know, dude. Compensate for something. I think they're going to have composting as well in here, dude. Compost. Compost. Hey, I'm good if you want to grab a copper. What? If you want to do corn, I, I've made it. I drove up the side of the mountain. Alright, I'm going to show off this last vent here. This one, I don't believe. Let me let me just double check because we got the tracked ones, and I want to say we do have. All right, yes, yeah, so you do have the thousand, uh, which is the flagship from Fent. So that one is brand new. So you got that one, and also Fast Track Eight Thirty Three. So I will. Uh, I tell you, we, we just need to do. We just need to do a good showcase on that. That's what we need to do. If you'll hop out, and then I'll. Hmm? I said, if you there you go. You can go ahead. Well, that's fine. You you run it, and I'll come up with the. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> oh, let's see. Hang on a minute. Someone wants me to drive this train. I hate the trains. I think I'm even. <laughs> I don't know why. I, just, I didn't even like it in 17. I was like, man. <laughs> Where is the driving the train? Because one of these even switched to the train. Just tab to it and you'll end up in it, I think. I think it's in one of my settings. Yeah, no. It's one of my settings. Well, you might have a uh, tab to train turned off. I know. I got to figure out which one it's under. It's uh, the... Well. I wonder in multiplayer if you can't. Well, if you can't tab to it in multiplayer. I thought it would make sense. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I, I'll. I want to. We'll figure it out. Hmm. 
That is weird. All right. Yeah, I'll, I'll look at it and see if we can't square that one away. All right. Let's try that one more time. Well, I was going to Sun Dew, but it don't look like I can actually get to it. So I'll have to look and see why. And then uh, train only in single player. Yeah, I mean, because I would assume you could take that thing and drive it. I mean, it might be a server settings too. It might not just go in the right place. I think I those nice little canvas pieces here in between the metal. Uh, what does it look like if you go in and have it turn? Window. You it can see it. The yeah. yeah, you can see it. It's kind of like a like a flowing. I don't know what you call that. A field plane. You can see it coming up. I mean it. Yeah. It looks just like it. Well, I won't say just like it did. But all right, let's see. Pipe out. There it comes. <clears throat> Nine and six. Me. Yeah, I'm at six. Why isn't my corn putting down straw? <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. Okay. So here, here's what I here's what I want to do. Um, instead of like trying to like filter out a ton of this stuff. Um, so let's. I want to save. How about let's do this thing. How about? I'll tell you what. I'm almost gonna be right at two hours. That's. I really don't want to go too much. So we got this one big field here on eight. Let's plan on harvesting, doubling up on this maybe tomorrow night, and then let's look at doing some chopping as well on uh, doing some silage as well. Here, uh, here for that. that sounds good. Okay. All right. Cool. Need corn for both. Huh? We need corn in this field for both. Um, probably honestly for what we want to do. I mean, this has got more than enough. Yeah. Chop half of it and combine half of it. Yeah, kind of what I was thinking. Thank you there. Dean Kiwi, appreciate it. Hugo, Hugo Auger, and Mr. Slab Robocop. Appreciate it, guys. Yeah, in case of. <laughs> All last day, I hear you there, Dev. Have a good buddy. Get over this new Holland. It just looks so good. I know. You're a case guy, too. I'm saying a lot, man. Shiloh Jackson and Matt Murphy. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. All right. Well, there we go. All right. Well, cool, guys. Well, I think that's going to be it for me for at least tonight, anyways. Um, so, thank you, guys, for coming, uh, especially coming in and, uh, and hanging out for tonight. So, we'll definitely try to get up. Um, uh, tomorrow should be a little bit earlier. So, uh, for you or any of your friends or whatnot that uh, that missed it tonight or maybe it was a little bit too late I, a little bit later starting I wanted to but I am going to start a little bit earlier tomorrow So we'll do some corn stuff tomorrow. We'll try to figure out some other things as well I'm also going to be recording some content. So if there's some things you didn't see uh, Be on the lookout for the channel here. Make sure you make sure you subscribe make sure you like and then we'll see if we can't uh, get some of those videos and stuff out here in the next couple of days. As well as I've got a nice unboxing with uh, the press kit that I got sent as well. Um, so that's a little bit. It's partially some of the collector's stuff, which is kind of nice. So anyway, maybe maybe a few of those items we might we might 
you know, might give away a few of those uh, collector's edition items. So, anyway, that's right. I was going to say that, Michael. Uh, that's what we need to unless we get copyright striked on the first video. You know, the boys are back in town. But anyway, I, I figured I'll just save everyone from seeing it. So, appreciate that. DN Kiwi, appreciate it, man, as always. Def, good to see you. Michael, Jules, Bill of Time, 4 before Coffee, Greybug, Walter. All you guys come back here, man. It's honestly good to see. Uh, it's, it's honestly good to see a lot of new faces. Uh, and obviously a lot of new names as well. So thanks to all of our subs as well. Super Chatters tonight. Big thumbs up, you guys. Appreciate the support. Uh, and we will be back with you here tomorrow. So don't forget, around, I'm going to say 9.30 or 10 o'clock. I think it's about as early as I'll be able to get. If I can get going at 9, but I will let you know early in advance, uh, and we will make it happen. So we'll do some corn tomorrow. We'll actually do some transport over to the biogas. We'll throw down a little bit of uh, a little, little little bit of silage and see what that stuff looks like. See how the process is, uh, and then we'll start looking at maybe taking care of some animals, doing those things. Just kind of giving just a little bit of a synopsis and try to use as much of this new stuff as we can. So we'll do uh, telehandlers, skid steers. All that kind of good stuff trailers cedars we'll just kind of start looking at a little bit of all of those things here just kind of giving a quick synopsis and then we'll start making some more in-depth videos uh and, you know as it relates to getting your own farm started out especially as it drops in tuesday so anyway guys i appreciate it man walter you guys are good uh thank you guys for coming and hanging out man so i will uh we'll be in i guess tomorrow saturday sunday monday uh, and then we'll see what next week brings and uh, see what in the heck's going on next week. So, anyway, big thumbs up, guys. Nick, thank you, buddy. Appreciate all the help. Uh, that was fun. It was, man. It was good. It was, it, was, it was good to get back in a swing of a new game, and uh, especially when it's got as many updates as uh, FS19 does. So, yeah, absolutely, man. Thank you, guys. And I guess we'll see you all here tomorrow night. So, make sure I get over here and do this. Anyway, I will see you tomorrow. Nick, say bye. 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 Bye, everybody. We'll see you. Peace.